So Meta just crushed earnings and the stock is shooting through the roof. And I just wanna let you guys know right now as I'm making this video, you probably won't see this until the next day. I'll probably post this as you're watching this. I made this yesterday, just so you know. So anyways, they just reported earnings and the stock ran from $394 all the way up to $452 as I'm making this video right now. It's up over 15% in after hours. But I'm gonna tell you right now that I wouldn't rush into this stock because we are entering an important zone based off of Fibonacci that I'm gonna share with you in a second that we can have a massive pull back at, okay? And we're about 5% away from it as I'm making this video. So let's get right into that. All I ask is that you drop a like, you subscribe. Let me know if you want me to make Meta Facebook content, okay? Going over the charts, the news, if you're a Meta holder, let me know down below. They also just announced a dividend, which is a pretty big deal. We'll talk a little bit about that in this video. But this is really important. Now, of course, this is not financial advice to tell you to buy or sell any stocks out there. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on YouTube who's a dad who focuses on companies, stocks, charts, coffee, a lot of different things. So this is the thing that I'm looking at, this yellow arrow right here. This is the 3.618 level on a Fibonacci and we are entering that. The price of that is $481. And as I'm making this video right now, we're at $453. Let's just say we continue to run tomorrow, okay? We continue to run. I do think we'll get to this level. It would be a 6% gain from where we're at right now, trading at 453. And then I do think we will pull back. So I may get into Meta. Um, the dividend is pretty interesting. It's a huge dividend. It's like a 50 cent dividend per quarter, which is huge per share that you hold, right? So again, I think we could go up and then we're gonna pull back. It's just what I think. I think though in the long run, you know, this could easily hit 560 bucks. That would be a Fibonacci right here, the 1.618 level. They had a great earnings, great company. They have a lot of money. It looks like they're gonna be buying back shares. Let's get into that news now. But before we get into that news, I just wanted to make you all aware, you need to be watching this area, okay? A lot of people might be very excited right now and piling into the stock, and that's how you get burned. I would probably wait on a pullback. There's a lot of other reasons why I would do that. On the Keltner channel, on a monthly time frame, we're touching it, we were touching it, and now we're gonna be way higher when this thing opens tomorrow. That's all I'm gonna say about these charts. Here are some of the key points. Meta shares jumped on better than expected results, and the first ever dividend payment. It's pretty crazy for a growth company like Meta to, to offer a dividend. The results show Meta's online ad business continues to rebound from a brutal 2022. Ads are everything. I mean, I was literally uh, watching Amazon Prime uh, with my son earlier and we pay like $12 a month for it. But now it's saying if you want ad free movies, you have to upgrade for another $3 a month or you're just gonna watch movies and ads are gonna play. So the ad business is a money maker and that's, what Facebook has been doing. And now Amazon Prime is doing it. A lot of other companies obviously do this. YouTube does it, X, Twitter does it. So there you go. Sales in the fourth quarter jumped 25% year over year while expenses decreased 8% year over year to 23.73 billion. Another thing to note, Meta spent billions to close offices and lay people off. Now we know why, okay? But apparently the stock price likes this. It's interesting because PayPal is now laying people off. They just started this today or yesterday. So I wonder if PayPal will kind of do the same thing that Facebook is doing. And Meta lost an astonishing 16 billion on the metaverse last year alone. So I remember when the whole metaverse thing started and it was a lot of hype. Well, they keep losing money on it. So who knows if it's gonna be a thing in our future. So guys, quick, short video. Just wanted to give you an update really on the charts that we are entering a zone, a very important level based on Fibonacci of about $480 you wanna be aware of. And then if we do a full retracement, that would get us up to $540. I just don't know if this thing will keep moving up. The monthly RSI is also at 72, which is very high for an RSI. The weekly RSI right now is at 76, and you already know when this thing opens tomorrow morning, well, today as you're watching this video, the RSI is gonna be way higher than 76, 77 on a weekly time frame. So I do think there's gonna be a lot of profit taking. I would be cautious. 480, maybe we get there, 
but then I think the profit taking will start just based off Fibonacci, right? This is just my own opinion. Gotta do what's best for you at the end of the day. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment. If you want me to make more meta content, I will do that and we'll see you on the next one.